William's saying about how about the importance of carbs and muscle growth? Uh, muscle growth from eating carbs after workout is higher than if not ingesting carbs. And I doubt gluconeogenesis produces the optimal amount. False. Um, False. Yeah. yeah. So false. look, yeah. it uh, and we 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 can prove this with with the research. The the uh, muscle protein synthesis is increased by zero when uh, adequate protein is consumed. So we would see further increase in muscle protein synthesis if protein consumption was low. But when we look at muscle protein synthesis when adequate protein is consumed, the difference between uh, the carb and no carb is is zero. What does increase muscle protein synthesis is the co-ingestion of protein and fat. Protein and fat, this is what allows the, the amino acids to enter the cells. Also see the increase in insulin from the, the leucine in the protein. Further consumption of the carbohydrate, does not. it does elicit a higher insulin response. But once we've, we need the right amount of insulin to create the muscle protein synthesis, beyond that, th there's no difference. What we see in some people who consume lots of carb is they'll, they'll retain lots of water for every one gram of glycogen that they store, three to four grams of water are, are held in the muscle. So we, we, we appear a lot bigger. Also, what's going on is that insulin response is breaking the bonds on the glycerol backbone, sending fatty acids into the fat cell, which is causing a layer of fat. So this is why we see people from a typical bodybuilding perspective go through bulking phases, go really fat, and then they've got more to cut as they come into this.